21 for 56 this year, 293 yards. He's thrown two touchdowns, not exactly in Kerwin Bell's league when it comes to throwing the football. No, they, they make no pretense about it. They're going to give that ball to their backs. Uh, Bo Jackson, uh, Tommy Agee, Brent. Him as he goes across the 45 to the 46-yard line. Defensively for the Gators, Miller, Mitz, Pennington, Roth, Armstrong, Williams, and Alonzo Johnson, Stacy Knight, White, and Williams, the deep backs, and the defense really going to be put to the test today with this great running attack that Auburn has. Second and two at the 46-yard line for the Tigers of Auburn as Washington goes with the eye. A.G. is the up back. The pitch goes to Bo Jackson, and Bo Jackson hits into the line off the left side. Very little gain. Keith Williams, the junior from Milton, Florida, brings Jackson down. 1,400 yards at this point in the season for Bo Jackson, well ahead of Herschel Walker's pace when Herschel won the Heisman Trophy. The Pro Scouts rate this guy. Florida with the three down lineman, and the handoff goes to Bo Jackson, tries it on the right side, he's squirmed under by the Florida defense. After a short gain, Alonzo Johnson and Ricky Knight combining. So Johnson on the top of your screen, watching fight to get outside. And you see Ricky Knight coming up there, the strong safety. Ricky Knight's gonna have to continue to make that play all day long near that line of scrimmage make Bo Jackson in this first period as Washington is at the line on third and two the pitch goes to Bo Jackson trying to turn outside and they stop him behind the line as Jervis Williams comes in but there are flags all over that one yard line first and ten at the 27 yard line Bo Jackson and Bo Jackson swarmed under as he gets to the 29 yard line so he might have picked up a tough yard and a half on the carry by the way you could win a 1986 Ford Ranger the Sonny's fighting gator truck just registered any participating Sonny's real pit barbecue Florida location you could also win a Suzuki motorbike a Columbia bicycle or a Toshiba jam box so go buy Sonny's today well we keep talking every Saturday don't let that tail back he hasn't sung with Michael Jackson yet <laughs> Dropping back is the quarterback, and the give-off goes to Bo Jackson, and he goes to the 43-yard line. So more yardage for Bo Alonzo Mitz, the big senior for noon, second and five, ball at the 43 in Gator territory. Again, Jackson gets the call, and he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. Right at the 43-yard line, Scott Armstrong and Alonzo Johnson get in on him. Well, Alonzo's going to have to maintain that All-American temperament out there this afternoon. On Watch Alonzo coming from the backside. Look at that speed catching Bo Jackson. Bo they really have an excellent infantry. And now Washington pitches to Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson with a halfback pass out there, but it is incomplete. It was in eyes, but a lot of smarts and a great player. The give-off goes to A.G. A.G. off the left side. Fumble on the play. Let's see who recovered at the 22-yard line when they unpile. It's Florida's football. The Gators have recovered the football. Well, I think somebody put a hat right on for the War Eagles, uh, just outside their own 40. They send their motion man to the top of your screen. The give-off goes to Bo Jackson coming this way to the near side, and they take him out right in front of the Auburn bench at about the 43-yard line. Patrick Miller was the guy that took Bo Jackson out. That's that counter sweep where you take a counter step to the left side in that instance and then run behind your big offensive lineman as they're sweeping to the right. Uh, Patrick Miller did a nice job stopping that play near the line of scrimmage. So it's second down nine, ball at the 43-yard line for Auburn. They're trying to protect their three to nothing lead in the first quarter of play. Pat Washington looks at the Florida defense, and Washington gives off on the delay draw to Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson comes outside here at the 47-yard. Florida's defense digging in against the Tigers. Florida with a three-down lineman. They send Middleton to the motion, and Washington pitches out to Bo Jackson as he tries to turn up field and gets to the 35-yard line for the first down. Alonzo Johnson brings him down. offense is designed to grind out the yardage and that's exactly what they do they move just like light infantry they get 368 yards a game on the average on the ground Bo Jackson gets 200 yards per game by himself alone that time they ran a little in three ball on the 39 
as Middleton goes to the top of the screen, and the pitch goes to Fullwood, brought down behind the line. A big play on November 11th against Athletes in Action. The regular season starts on November 26th against Central Florida. Contact the Gator Ticket Office for additional information. First and 10 at the 30 for the Auburn Tigers. The pitch is going to go to Bo Jackson, and he is brought down as he hits the 30-yard line, the line of scrimmage. Our writers and broadcasters from all over the country here to cover it. Washington, chance the signals. Washington, busted play as he's taken down at the 35. The midfield strike right at the 50-yard line for Auburn. And Auburn pitches to Bo Jackson. He comes to the left side, comes across the midfield stripe into Florida territory to about the, fifth, the uh, 47. And Leon Pennington and Alonzo Johnson combine to make the tackle. Johnson and Armstrong on the stop. Bo Jackson's taking himself out of the ball game. I don't know if he's got in Florida territory for Auburn as Washington, the quarterback, looks over Florida. He drops the throw, and he's under some pressure, brought down behind the line. Alonzo Johnson in there to bring him down at the 48-yard line. Well, Alonzo Johnson just did a terrific job right there. He, he contained on his blitting the opponent's offense. High formation, and the give-off goes to the up-back as he hits to the 22. Tommy Agee was the ball carrier, Patrick Miller, and Jeff Roth combining to make the stop. And one. Power eye, and the give-off goes to Agee, and it looks like he's got it. Keith Williams, right? When the opportunity arises. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. The give-off now goes to Fullwood, and he is taken down at the 40. White. It'll be second and 10, and here's Bo Jackson coming back on the field. Rushing this afternoon, Jackson's got 48 yards, and he's tied with Neil Anderson and John L. Williams of Florida with 46. Ball at the 45, and the give-off goes to the up-back, Tommy Agee, and he gets a couple of tough yards for the Auburn tight fence. Oh, you better believe it. First and 10, ball on the 28-yard line. As Washington gives off to the up-back, Tommy Agee, and he tries it right up the gut, across the 30 to the 31. Alonzo Johnson makes the tackle. They just give the ball to the fullback once in a while on that quick dive to keep you from teeing. Certain for the remainder of this game. That's the injury I think he had at Tennessee. And the pitch back goes to the tailing back, and he's brought down way behind the line. Brett Fullwood brought down by Leon Pennington, who blitzed in there. And Don Tinney, big senior right tackle. Here's Bo, first quarter, 12 for 40, second quarter, three for eight. Florida defense doing, he puts a man in motion, and Washington gives off now to the tailback, Brent Fullwood, and Fullwood across the 30 to the 32, Leon Penning's side of the 50. Six for 12, Washington this afternoon. Washington gives off, the give off goes to Fullwood to the 42 yard line. Fumble on the play. Tommy Duhart comes to play in the third quarter. Florida seven, Auburn three. Waiting for the snap is Washington. Washington dropping, looking to throw. He's under some pressure by Florida, brought down behind the line at the 38 yard line. Keith Williams and a flag on the play. First and 10 at the 32 yard line for Auburn. They're in Florida territory. Washington's give off goes to Fullwood. Fullwood stacked up. That's now the tight end. And the give off goes to the fullback straight up the middle to the 17, Tommy Agee. Brought down by Ron Moten, the junior from Clearwater. Seconds dropping away here in the third quarter. A minute. Pat Washington, the quarterback, sends a motion man. Washington gives off. He gives off to the fullback. Agee, he's got the first down inside the 10 to the 9. Pennington and Brown combining to make the stop for Florida. Power eye, but they give the ball to the fullback instead of the tailback on the quick dive. Look at Big Parks making a block on Alonzo Johnson. We talked about how they did it right there. They gave up just a little bit. Second and eight now. And Pat Washington. Reverse. To Wigand on the reverse, but Florida sniffed it out, and Alonzo Johnson brings him down at the 44. So Alonzo Johnson makes the hit at the 44-yard line. And, uh, and Alonzo Mitz from the backside. They're pursuing. They see the pitch to Freddie Wigand. 
Look at Alonzo Mitts hustling out there. Alonzo Johnson does have the speed to catch up and hog ties him. At Washington is the quarterback. Washington looks to throw. He's being pressed by Florida, unloads, and it is incomplete. And there's a flag on the play. Looks like this back number 34. There he is on your screen. I'm sure they were going to hold Bo as long as they could, but right now, a lot on the line. Florida leads his football game. Bo Jackson takes the pitch. He swarmed under at the line of scrimmage. Tommy Duhart, Henry Brown, offensive line for Florida. They really came through with some great blocking on that last drive. Second and 10 for Auburn, and Washington hangs onto the football, brought down behind the line of scrimmage again. Arthur White coming in. Bo Jackson was trailing on that play. I think Washington felt he could make it upfield, but a little bit too much speed by that Florida defense. This is that option that's very, very tough. Look at Curtis Stacy take the pitch, man. Allows the safety, Ricky Knight, or excuse me, the inside linebacker there. As the seconds tick away, Washington now calls for a timeout and will be right back after these messages. Team came over to the sideline. Pat Dye, the head coach, made an impassioned speech. It's fourth and one. Fourth quarter, 5-10 to play. Florida leads by a score of 14-10, to 10, and Auburn is going to go for it on fourth down. Evidently, he felt he didn't want to take his all-conference punter and pin the Gators back in their own territory. He wants to go for it. All right, Washington chants the signals. The give-off goes to Fullwood, and he is hit at the line. Let's see if Florida held or not. We'll see when they unpile where they spot the ball down. Knight and White make the hit along with Pennington for the Florida defense. The Gators have held. The Gators have held. Woo! I can't believe that. My First goodness, what, what a defensive stand. The Gators have the football now. First All right, let's see what's happening up front. Fullwood gets the call and oh, it looks Florida like he ran into right his there. own man almost. And the Gators had stuffed that offensive line. Tight ends can catch the football as well. 40-yard boot. As we look at some of the beautiful campus surroundings at Auburn, Alabama. Next week it's Florida and Georgia in the Gator Bowl in Jacksonville. Delay draw. The give-off goes to Fullwood. He is stacked up by the Florida defense right at the 20. Leon Pennington, the first guy to hit him. And the clock is going to run with that play. Leon Pennington just playing his heart out inside at inside linebacker. Scott Armstrong, Jeff Roth, Tommy Duhart. Well, look at that hit by Leon Pennington. Head up, chin up. Here we go now with Pat Washington at the line. It's second and ten. Ball on the 20. Deep in Auburn territory. Florida's defense has been tough this afternoon. Give off again goes to Fullwood off the left side to the 23 yard line. Again, the Florida defense holds. Tommy Duhart makes 38 to play. Washington at the line. Third and seven. Washington hit, gets away from one man, dragged down, throws a quick pass to Fullwood. Fullwood on his feet, brought down at the line of scrimmage. Right at the 23 yard line, Jarvis Williams. Alonzo Johnson, the pressure man. What great defense by Florida. Is that Alonzo Johnson on the blitz? He, he lets him escape. Alonzo Mitz tries to wrap him up. But watch this hit by Jarvis Williams. We need to call him the assassin. Watch this hit. The Boom! Right there, Ricky Knight over there. Seconds to play. Here's Pat Washington of Auburn with a lone setback. Looking to throw, being pressed. Throws, and it is incomplete. Incomplete. Leon Pennington is the guy that tipped it away as it goes as incomplete. Intended for Kyle Collins coming out of the backfield. And the Gators are dancing in the stands. All about 7,000 of them that made the trip here to Auburn, Alabama. Well, with 24 seconds left to play, Florida takes over the football. And so Florida will go four in them based on what happens in other college football games around the country today. The Gators rank number two in the nation coming well, in. Well, we're talking about wannabes and gonna bees, and the Gators. Scott wanted, Armstrong fired up. That's right. The Gators wanted to be a contender for that national championship, and now they're going to be a contender for that national championship because they did it to Auburn this afternoon. 
at Auburn, a place that the Gators haven't won since 1975. The last, that's also the last time that the home team has won until this year. There's the final score, and it tells the story. As you see, the fans filing out of Jordan-Hale.